Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Cranky Gun Reviews. I am out here with two very different target pistols. My Charter Arms Target Pathfinder Revolver and my new Smith & Wesson Victory 22. And this one I haven't really done many videos about yet. Um, the Pathfinder obviously I've had for quite a while, you guys have seen it. I made sure the rear sights are tight this time before I shoot it. I also put some old school Charter Arms wood grips on it which may affect my accuracy but we'll see. And the Smith & Wesson Victory 22, I have five magazines for. Uh, I have what is actually a 25-yard rifle match um, target up there. I'm going to use that for my pistol. I'm in about 20 feet. So I'm going to go ahead and set you guys down here. And we'll see how good I can do with the two different pistols. So the Victory, I have not shot a whole lot. I do know it is very accurate. Uh, I'm going to start off with some Blazer 22LR lead round nose, and let's see how she goes. Safety off. I'm going to go for the top left target first, and I'm going to try to go slow. For those of you that think this thing doesn't come with a good trigger from the factory, it's amazingly light. Uh, that was 10 rounds. I think I missed with one of them. The rest of them are all pretty close to each other. Um, next, I'm going to switch to some CCR, CCI AR Tactical. And I'm not a real fan of this ammo. It doesn't work well in my 1022, so I have no idea if it's going to work well in this gun. Uh, it was a little bit weird loading in the magazine, so let's see how it does. That definitely has a little bit different velocity than the, the Blazer, but the accuracy is roughly about the same. Uh, I think I have some Aguila uh, Super Extra copper plated hollow points here. That's kind of funny actually. I think the wind knocked you off there. So that bottom one was the Aguila. I did have uh, a little bit bigger group, but I was shooting a little bit faster. Let me switch over to my revolver, and I have five rounds of Super X and one of the CCI. So let's see how it does in double action mode, top right target. Well, out of these two guns, I definitely have a little bit better uh, control with the Victory when I'm in, uh, well, I mean, it's, it's a semi-auto, so it's a little bit more stable when you're shooting. It has a better trigger. Let me put some uh, Blazer in my revolver, and I'll go to single action and see if I can improve my accuracy on single action. I'm betting I can, and I know my rear sight is tight this time. I tighten the crap out of it, almost to the point that I messed up the screw, but if it doesn't come loose, I'm okay with that. And you can see I'm not really going side to side. I'm stringing vertically. I'm below the target, so it has nothing to do with the windage changing, even if that did happen. Uh, it just has a difference between the sights on the two guns. So I'm going to go on the bottom target this time. Much better. So that group was, uh, it opened up a little bit, but they're all in the black. Again, for me, that's pretty good. That's a three inch target at 20 feet. And again, I'm just standing, I'm shooting offhand. I don't really see the point in uh, bench rest shooting pistols, so I try not to do that. Um, I'm gonna switch over here to some Super Calibre Aguila 22, which is some very quiet 20 grain I believe this stuff only uses the primer when it's actually firing, so I'm sure this is probably going to be shooting low, but let's see how I do. I'm going to go for that middle target on the right. Oh, jeez. I have earplugs in. I can't even hear the stuff.
Yeah, and I'm basically aiming at the top of the target. I started walking them up, so that middle three-inch target, I had to aim at the top of it to start getting them in the middle of it with the Calibri. So it's definitely soft shooting, nice and quiet stuff. But man, it's kind of fun. I'm going to put a couple more of those in. Definitely changes your point of impact. So it's one thing if you're uh, target shooting with lighter loads because you need that quieter round, it's definitely going to be a totally different point of impact on this thing. Oh, I pulled that one low. Click. Well, they're not too bad. If you know where you're aiming, they're not too, too bad. All right, I'm going to change my camera angle up here so you can see me shoot, and I'll come right back. All right, so I know this isn't really the best angle. Uh, it's kind of looking up at me as I'm shooting, but here's the Smith & Wesson Victory 22. I'm going to go for the steel target down there. This trigger is so stinking light. I don't care. Anybody says you need to change this trigger. I mean, maybe I'm not used to target shooting, and maybe this is a heavy trigger by their standards, but this is the best trigger out of any gun that I have. Oh, had a dud. Or it didn't. Uh, might not have picked it up. Wait 30 seconds, or 5, or 10. Oh, didn't pick one up that time. And that was that CCI AR Tactical, like I said. Some of my magazines don't like it. Apparently this has some issues with it too. I definitely would not run it on a steady diet of that stuff just because I have issues with it. Um, what I have here, speed loaders for 22 LR. So just like a 38 or a 357, you can use a speed loader in a 22. Is it practical? Heck no. But is it fun? Kind of. At least it makes you feel like you're shooting a big revolver. So there I have some CCI Mini Mag round nose. I'll shoot at the steel plate. Uh, only six. Well, one other thing I got on here, I have some CB long, some little tiny CB longs. I'm going to go ahead and stick those in there. I only got four of those. So I'll put four of those, and then I'll put two Calibris in here so you can see the difference in sound between the two of them. Now, the CB Long, I think, are like 710 feet per second, but it's more like a 29 grain or something. And these are the Calibris are only a 20 grain. So we'll see the difference in how they sound. Calibri. 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 Wait a minute. I only put two Calibris in. They all sounded the same to me. Uh, so I guess the CB Long has about the same amount of uh, propellant in it that the Super Calibri has. I don't know. Seem to be fun either way. I'm just going to go ahead and throw some more Blazer in this thing. This gun is such a joy to shoot. If anybody has the chance to get a 22 revolver, please do it. And this particular one, about uh, three weeks ago, I was going to trade it in. Uh, I wanted to trade it in and get a, a Ruger. I forget if it was a... Uh, SP 101 and 22 or something, but it was a Ruger model in 22 LR, but it was like 500 bucks. I was only going to get 150 in trade on this, and I just didn't want to let it go for that much because it is a good shooting gun, uh, even though it is a Charter Arms, and the, uh, the stainless steel quality that's on these isn't really the greatest, so they take a lot of effort to actually get really clean. That's really my biggest complaint about this. It shoots great. I have no complaints about that, so, you know, you might as well shoot it some more. I mean, no complaints about it shooting whatsoever. Shoots perfectly fine. So, Charter Arms Pathfinder 22 LR. I've said it before. If you can pick one up, I highly recommend it. They're well worth the money. You'll get your fun shooting this thing. So, have a great day from Cranky Gun Reviews. This is just a quick target shooting. The difference between a Smith & Wesson Victory 22 and a Target Pathfinder. You can get about the same results if you practice. Again, I'm not a marksman. I never claim to be. I just claim to have a good time and enjoy shooting. So, God bless America. Have a great day. Support your two-way rights and keep on plinking.